On your radical, you big disgrace, flipping that tomato soup can all over the fucking place. You got blood on your face. You got mud on your fucking face. Young man, fucking angry man, fucking carrying that fucking banner all over. Fucking middle-aged fucking man, fucking blood on your face. Gonna change the world some fucking day. Fucking old man. Get in there. <laughs> I done my sentence and I committed no fucking crime. So, I committed no fucking crime. I've been in a cancer prison cell for 10 fucking years now. Almost 10. Oh, I made a few. I'm not fucking perfect. So, the birds, the birds, the birds. So, I just got off the phone in Indiana. I was talking about kicked in my fucking face. So, guy from Indiana just called me. He's been all over the bird thing. Kentucky, Maryland, D.C. The whole region, Ohio. So, these birds dropping dead. People are saying they're just landing on their decks just kind of lethargically and tipping over there, flying in. He says they almost look like kamikaze pilots. They just kind of dive and kill themselves. Their eyes are all, they, they can't see. They're going blind. It's obviously poison. These animals are poisoned. Now, as I've said, where's your fuctonium hat? For years, since Fukushima happened, since the day it happened, I've said this. I said, this is new. This is new. We finally got the tipping point. The point of no return. This radio roundup toxic fucking hell we've been spraying and spraying so radically in the last fucking 30, 40 years. This fucking cargo ships coming from fucking slave made goods in China the last 20 years and they're just going fucking nuts. All this fucking toxic poison into our atmosphere. Then you have the mother of all ecological catastrophes, the Fukushima disaster. Full blown out nuclear meltdowns pushing into the biosphere. Fucking never happened before the tipping point. How far to the point of no return, which I named Fuktonium. Now, theories are one thing. Hypothesis is another thing. Field work, proof. Defend the work, that's another thing, that's science. Scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're puzzled, they're snumped, they're perplexed, they're bewildered, they're curious. Oh, can they all be golden handcuff pieces of fucking lazy lying dog shit? 99%. There's only one answer. Because the evidence proves. The evidence proves that something fucking radical happened in 2011. It's when this whole madness started. It's unarguable. It has to be new. There's a toxic poison going on in the fucking Midwest. You don't think that's scary shit in the songbirds? Talk about the canary in the fucking literal fucking uranium mine. Whoa, whoa. This is going all over that region. And it's multiple different species. So I talked to him in Indiana. This is the third person I've talked to that's called me on this thing. They've run toxicology reports. They've ruled out West Nile. They've ruled out air, all these things. They can't fucking come up with anything. I mean, if it was a virus, they would know immediately. Viruses show up. You can look them under a microscope. Not viruses. It's poison. It's obviously, they're, it's toxin. It's something. Why are they not detecting it in the blood work on the bird? Because it's new. Again, let's go. You can laugh at me. You can deny me. They can. Their answer has been to kettle Kevin Blanche, the greatest scientist fucking maybe in history. Huh? The new Semmelweis. Throw me in a rubber room. The evidence is all that matters. Opinions don't matter at this point. First, you hypothesize. These are full blown. Out. It took me a year and a half to convince this is one meltdown. These are full blown out fucking meltdowns. They're fucking pushing it into the biosphere. They're going to push it into the ocean. This jet stream moves left to right. It's going to fucking cause a heat bubble over the western United States. It's going to poison this fucking... It's going to give you cancer. It's going to give you can I went to the bone marrow transplant on 11-11-11. It's 
It's going to cause a heat bubble in the Western United States. It's going to cause fucking spontaneous fires. The biosphere is actually, it's a plasma. It's a fucking gas. It's a poison. It's a toxin. It's undetectable. Because Geiger counters are built for gamma radiation. This is fucking something we have no idea what the fuck it is. The sun can give you cancer from 93 million miles away. These are suns pushed into the Pacific Ocean. They're going to blanch the Pacific Ocean. These storms are going to rise up off the fucking ocean. It's going to cause a heat bubble over the western United States. The Great Salt Lake's going to go fucking dry. It's going to cause the greatest drought in human history. It's going to cause fucking spontaneous fires to catch. It's going to cause all the pine trees to get too much in their needles and die and burn. It's going to cause cancer rates to go crazy. Cancer rates have spiked 40% in North fucking America and yeah. It's going to cause all species to collapse radically. Butterflies have collapsed 90% in the last decade. Insects well over 90% in the last decade. We don't catch tide pools, 99%. So, as a scientist, you can run regression now because we don't count dead tide pools. We don't even count dead birds. We don't count dead insects. We don't count dead butterflies. We don't even hippo laws. They don't even let us count dead human beings in fucking, you know, oh, my loved one died of cancer. My friend died of cancer last year in the bone marrow transplant, 51 fucking years old, and his family puts in, he put in. Died of natural causes. They're willing to fucking die for their political dogma to go see their American manufactured fucking Jesus. They're sick. They're crazy. How can a fucking guy like me count fucking deaths? But they, well, that's the plan. Lay down and just give up your fucking life. Mission accomplished. Bear Monsanto, fucking Jeff Bezos, fucking Bill fucking Eugenic Gates, Warren Buffett, billionaire fucking Zionist fucking control the world. Poison the planet. First they come for the buffalo. Why would they start at the stop at the Pacific Ocean? We count all salmon. We count every fucking one of them. We have fucking sonar on these fucking rivers. We have hatcheries. We can go physically to the hatchery. The Rogue River fucking is down from a fucking 99%. The Jedi Smith down 99%. The fucking Mighty Columbia down well over 90%. Fucking the Fraser down 97 fucking percent in 10 years. Still had salmon in the Columbia River right now have 3,200. 10 years ago, 680,000. The Chinook salmon fucking, now this is important. The Chinook salmon go to sea for five years. This is a smoking gun of Fukushima. Everybody was laughing at Kevin Blanch. Record returns. You heard me right. Record escapement, record returns from the ocean. They call it the pasture. What a fucking joke. Comes as naturals occupying a fucking bird refuge. Record returns. 20 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The Army Corps Engineers is doing videos on their live cam. Live cam been out now since fucking 2014. Record. One of the great success stories in environmental history, the restoration of the beds, the restoration of the fucking salmon. No more fucking mine fucking blowing up in their beds. That In the old days, they were dying fucking. They couldn't get out to sea. There were no smolts making it out. That was all fixed. Into the fucking Pacific. The pasture. Fuck. They're not coming home. So in 2016. I said. You can run regressional models. Because now we have the data. We have 10 years worth of fucking data. So all scientists. They're in denial. You can run a regressional model. On the fucking salmon numbers. You can plug in the data. Because the data exists. You go to ODFW. WFW. University of Washington. They post the numbers every fucking day. Alaska Fish Counts. They post the numbers every fucking day. Now, stay with me. So, in 2015, with gill netting, 1.4 million on the Columbia. Returning to big beasts. They gill netted over a million. In fact, they gill netted 1.5 million and caught in front of the dam and the sonar. So, we're talking well over 3 million fish came home. Chinook, salmon. Still had 680,000 in 2011, but they were already on the decline because their life cycle is one year, one to two years. They make two trips out to sea. They have a short life cycle. So they mean start to cut. Chinook salmon, they go to sea on, they go up to eight. They go to sea for five years. I says, will you believe me when they collapse in 2016? Everybody laughed at me. I set my model at 680,000. 
in fucking 2016. They set their fucking models with gill netting at well over 3 million. After the gill nets take their share out, they set their models at 1.7 million. It came in at 680,000. Kevin Blanche dead on the fucking money. They're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. So, aberration. They happen. So, 2017, I set my model at 480,000. They set their model at 2.3 million. This is after the Navy, so they set their model really at 4.6 million. I set mine at 480,000. Coming at 480,000. They're like, whoa, 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 once is luck, twice is skill. Third year. Kevin Blanche sent his fucking model at 333,000. They set their model at 2.7 million. Fucking, you could double the gill netting so they could fucking set their model. They were still gill netting like crazy. They set their model at well over 5 million. I set mine at 333,000. Bloop, they come in at 336,000. But once is luck, twice is skill, three times is recorded history. The trend ain't your fucking friend. Everybody's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What about this guy? We better get on him. The P Look what I'm up against. I'm up against PR firms. Fucking the PR firms are like, whoa, look at this guy. He started the million mass march and they're all over Fukushima. They're all over the environment. Fuck, this guy has 7 million fucking people following him around the world. Fuck police brutality, social injustice, so let's just hijack it. Let's kidnap it. <laughs> Black Lives Matter stole. They stole it. Lock, stock, and barrel and corporatized from the million mass march, which Kevin Blanche invented with John Anthony Ferrer's. Fucking <laughs> all based around the Fukushima meltdowns, the death of Aaron Swartz. Kill the fucking information. Kill the truth tellers. They're like, holy fuck, well, wait a minute. They're starting to get nervous. Then they finally started to admit, well, wait, you know, uh, uh, they're dying at sea, like he said. They blanched the Pacific Ocean with these suns, these meltdowns. They just, it took me a year and a half to convince anybody it was even one meltdown. There's at least three, more likely six. That have fucking just been pushed into the ocean, been their answer. Barry Antoinette Obama, fucking let them eat yellow cake, hand off to Trump, met with Abby 18 times, the fucking gotta meet with Henry Kissinger, the fucking globalists and their Zionists and their fucking nuclear energy fucking freak show. So we go into the next year. We're like, they're like, oh my lord, three years, 2016, 2017, 2018. Kevin Blanche sets his fucking model at 200 and fucking 20,000. They're starting to come out of denial. They're, they lower their models to 1.3 million. That's when they started to, halfway through the season, they pulled some gill netting. So I had to adjust mine back up to 440,000. Bingo, right on the money again. Last year, same thing, pulled no gill netting. So I had to adjust my model from 225,000 to 450,000. Bing, I'm right on the money again, every single year. This year, there's no gill netting, very limited fucking fishing. Huh, right now, fuck. we're talking this year's over half over. They barely have over 100,000 for the fucking year. The stillhead, there's 3,100. <laughs> Third, you heard me right, 31. This, I mean, it's the run right now. The July's the run with stillhead. There's nothing coming in. <laughs> this is with no fishing. This is with no gill netting. And you're not alarmed. The birds... Across the Midwest. You're getting fucking birds that are obviously poisoned. The toxicology reports are coming in now. I just got a phone from Indiana. He talked to the DNR. We fucking run the toxicology fucking reports. We cannot find anything. There's nothing in the bloodstream that we can identify. Again, Kevin Blanche's fucking scientists are mystified. They're baffled. They're puzzled. They're stumped. They're perplexed. They're not going to tell us. Say if they did have a radiologically fucking event. <laughs> Jennifer Graham Holm. The new Rick Perry. Fuck, please. Fucking those Indian boys on those Indiana fucking nights. <laughs> she grew up fucking tall. That good looking fucking mama. Standing in Times Square with no fucking underwear. I don't want to live like a fucking refugee. Fucking don't come around here no more. Standing in Times Square, she got no fucking underwear. He doesn't. Biden, Trump. Obama, they have no underwear. The emperor has no fucking clothes. The wannabe nuclear energy emperor, he has no fucking clothes. He has no clothes. So opinion doesn't mean shit at this point. Kevin Blanche was right the whole time. He hypothesized he took a lot of risk. And he fucking, but that's what good scientists do. do. Fucking Semmelweis. This is the greatest fucking PhD in human history. So you run regression. You can run it through your fucking models now. Any scientist can do it. Any computer fucking, you know, first year college student can run regression now. You can plug in the fucking models from Oregon, from the state of Washington, Alaska, and plug them in. You can run regression, malt millions of cycles, and it will fucking come back. They will deviate from the mean fucking millions of times. Smoke will come out. And it will, it will point right to the the event. We call that an outliner. 
It will point to the outliner and it will identify the outliner that happened. And any model, I've run thousands and thousands of fucking regressional models. It fucking points to 2011. Spring 2011. It points right to it. Plug in the fucking still head numbers. Plug in the fucking Chinook numbers. We count them all. We have the data. Something radical outliner happened in 2011. It's unarguable fact. Did a meteor hit the fucking earth? Do we have 10 million next off of these? By the way, fuck BP that I fucking really went after BP when it was burning. Barack Obama just let it burn. You know, there's another BP going on in the Gulf. Media doesn't even cover it anymore. <laughs> They're just lock, stock, barrel in on killing the ecology. There will be no animals fucking left at this rate on earth. No wild animals are going to be left at all here in a few years. I mean, they're almost all gone now. What's going on in Indiana? What's going on in Ohio, Kentucky? These birds are just dropping down and it's multiple different species. They're actually poisoned. You take Roundup. and you Remember the Bear Monsanto settlement? Why would Bear buy Monsanto, the gassers? Hitler's old fucking company. Why would he buy those poisoners? <laughs> it's the plan. The eugenics fucking kill them all plan. I thought they were going to settle fucking years ago. I thought they got the BP guy. I thought they got the 9-11 guy. What's that fucking piece of shit? It's fucking... <laughs> There's no settlement. There's no settlement. COVID-19, there is absolutely no fucking doubt in my mind that that's what fucking COVID also is. It's a mutation from this new fucking energy, which I named Futonium. You can go in denial about it, which is a synergistic effect. It's not just the fucking radioactive fallout. And Geiger counters will not read it because it's new. It's never happened. Didn't happen in Chernobyl. Didn't happen in Mayak. Didn't happen in San Susana. Didn't happen at fucking Three Mile Island. No, these are full fucking blown out core meltdowns that have never happened. This is China syndrome on Balco. This which I named Russia syndrome. Fucking I named Delmar Argentina fucking syndrome. It's pushing into the Pacific Ocean. It's Delmar syndrome. It's the crowning jewel. We finally reached the tipping point. You fucking take all this fucking radio roundup, Monsanto. That's why do you think the dogs all dying? There's another one over the last ten years. You know we have a major epidemic in pets fucking dying, young of cancer, again. Just more unarguable, compelling. Well, not even compelling. Fuck, fuck the compelling. It's just fucking factual proof. So you can deny my work all you fucking want. Just the factual fact it is. This bird situation is so fucking scary and nobody's even talking about it. Mainstream media won't even report it. <laughs> no, they're just fucking dying. They're obviously poisoned. And the toxicology reports are coming back and they can't find anything. Scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're puzzled, they're stumped, they're perplexed. They're being... At this point, they also need to be rounded up. Hung? Fucking... Any academia professor, anybody that's promoting fucking nuclear, fuck Bill Eugenic Gates, the state of fucking Utah, all these fucking things. In Ohio, you go back to Ohio, at least they went and busted Larry Householder for taking the bribes on the nuclear energy. They busted some of the politicians, but what about the bribees? Anytime there's a bribee, there has to be some bribers, but they're the untouchables. The nuclear energy crime city can poison the world, kill the world for 75 years, and just destroy it when they finally caught up with us. They find it. I mean, we've been, we're afraid of nuclear meltdowns. We're afraid of nuclear meltdowns. We're afraid of nuclear meltdowns until they fucking happen. Then it's, <laughs> them Indiana boys on those Indiana fucking nights. She grew up tall. She grew up fucking right with those Indiana boys on those Indiana nights. She's standing in Times Square. Her name's Jennifer Graham Holm. She didn't grow up in Indiana. She's Cal Berkeley, another eugenics. Says John Holdren. A eugenicist in the White House who covered up Fukushima. Donald J. Trump, who went along and covered up Fukushima, met with Abby 18 times. Went to MIT Media Lab. Why would he go there? Huh. Whoa. The imperialists have finally done it. They got their fucking dream. They got their fucking dream. The imperialists have got their fucking dream. Poisoned the fucking planet. Longevity in this country started headed south in 2012. People are not living long. We have autoporn surgery. We have fucking organ transplants. We have cancer fucking treatment that is so good anymore. Yet we're not living longer. We're living less. A mission accomplished. The birds. The birds. Holy Capitola. Fuck, that's where Zuckerberg lives. I've been there. Fuck, that place is toxic. <laughs> uh, the tsunami actually hit in Capitola from Fukushima and wiped out some of those boats right there. You didn't know that, did you? Hmm, on that pier. Standing in fucking Times Square, fucking with no underwear. The emperor has no fucking 
the wannabe nuclear energy emperor, Biden, fucking Trump, every one of these, Mike Lee, fucking every politician, every academia professor, every media, Anderson Vanderbilt Cooper, fucking CNN Zucker, Operation Foxconn News. Every one of these fucking rats, they have no fucking clothes. The wannabe fucking nuclear emperor has no fucking clothes. These birds fucking dying is some scary fucking shit. And scientists, are, they're going to go along. You're going to go along with this, everybody in this country. And they're going to hire PR firms to try to kill Kevin Blanche. Kettle Kevin Blanche, that's their fucking answer. That's their fucking answer. My work is unarguable proof. You can go into now. You can run. We need more fucking nuclear. We need more pork. Trump dumped out more fucking nuclear energy pork than all presidents combined. Fucking now we have Jennifer Graham home, who's the new Rick Perry. Make it sexy again. These fucking sick fuckers. Sick fuckers. Take this nuclear waste. Fucking take Bezos, take Gates, take Sir fucking Branson, load the nuclear waste. That's where fucking CIA fucking Bezos came from, fucking Los Alamos. Take them, load them in their rockets with the nuclear waste. Shoot them into fucking space. Get them off our fucking place. Make sure they shoot them to Saturn. Goodbye. Goodbye. Fucking, it's our only hope. Fucking ban all fucking nuclear. Come out of Fukushima fucking now is the only hope because we are on the fucking brink. Fucking how far to the point of no return. <laughs> Stay in tune. Oh, it's the fucking birds. This is unarguable fucking proof. My work is unarguable. You can't deny my science. It doesn't matter opinion. You cannot deny my science. Mystified, baffled, puzzled, stumped, perplexed people is not science. In fact, all academia professors, all fucking so-called EPA, fucking scientists that work for agencies, Greenpeace, Sierra Club, they should be rounded up and fucking hung. Every fucking one of them. We should have a Nuremberg on this. This is the greatest event in fucking human history. Fucking. The nuclear fucking energy fucking meltdowns of Fukushima, wannabe emperors, Biden, fucking Trump, Obama... They have no fucking clothes. Stay in tuning.